Hello everyone, how are you? In, this la in the last tutorial, we had done templates and applied them to functions. Let's apply them to a class this time. A little bit change in the syntax to apply it for the class. We use this and this. Now let me tell you a little trick. Say first assume that you are making your class to support only integer say uh, what we are going to do is create a class something let it have int let it have two arrays let's first make it public yeah it looks good now uh, now let's have a function add just like the last time which returns type int and adds this elements of the two arrays let's have a constructor which initializes this array i'm sorry the constructor doesn't remember return anything so sorry for that now how do we How do we define the constructor is something like this yeah we'll initialize a of 1 and a of 0 and how we write add digit returns int is this I'm sorry So here we have our little class which is going to add two numbers say let's create an object of this class because this is in constructor oh yeah that will give me an error now let me I have an error here which I don't seem to understand okay this was the error I was using template yeah so now this works if i give two and three it gives me five so this works now let's change it to add anything so how we do it is use templates spoiler i'm so sorry for messing up the spelling of templates while teaching templates um for classes like I told we use this and before every function we just do this and replace all integers with t that is a trick okay so here we have our class and here we have to do it like this i hope you're understanding the syntax if not pause the video and take time to look at it now let me call float something so i have to pass the data type with this so I think it's done except this oh wow it works let's enter 5.9 so this is how we use 
templates for classes. If you have any doubts, leave it in the comment below. Subscribe, like and share with your friends who need some knowledge. Thank you guys.